All right, I've seen tons of videos online so far uh, on the question of whether or not you should take the new DoorDash Earn by the Hour. Uh, almost all the videos say, no, just keep going with Earn by the Order, so you can turn down, I guess, 50 to 60% of uh, really low tip, you know, sub $1 per, uh, got people around here, it's a little sketchy area, so if I get attacked, uh, lock the doors for you. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to make the case for earned by the hour. And here's the reason. When you're getting new to a zone, if you move to a zone, you don't know the area, you don't know the, the bad restaurants, obviously never go to Taco Bell, KFC, uh, McDonald's, kind of iffy. But I've, I've noticed the fast food places, I've especially been working at night, and I'll be waiting literally, oh, there's a the camera. I'll be waiting literally like, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Well, there's, I'm in Nashville right now. There was a Nashville Taco Bell. It's infamous. I had to wait 40 minutes to get to the line. Didn't have the order. They said, oh, we gave it out an hour ago. Um, take earned by the hour if it's, you know, 15, 14, 15 dollars an hour or more plus tips. And the reason is, yeah, you'll still get tips. Yeah, they're, they're much lower tips, you know, small tips, small trips. Um, most people now, most dashers will not take anything lower than a dollar. Per mile that makes sense uh, for them um, I drive an m3 and it gets 22 miles per gallon and uses premium and right now um, Democrat in the White House so gas is uh, for me is about 450 a gallon so I'm burning through you know potentially five six bucks an hour just driving around um, so when I worked I actually worked at KFC at one point and the door dashers hated KFC um, all the delivery Uber Eats people, they all hated KFC because they're sitting around waiting all this time. Well, now with the earn by the hour, um, when you get in and you're having to wait 10, 20, 30 minutes to pick up your order, at least you're getting $15 an hour just waiting there. In fact, that should just be standard for all orders. And in my opinion, actually, the restaurant should be paying it. Because if, if the restaurant said, so I just got a signal on my last order and it said, oh, your delivery's ready. So I get there like almost 10 minutes later. And they're like, well, it'll be out in a couple minutes. A couple, 10 minutes later, I had to unassign because I'm lo losing money. I was taking it by the order. I should have taken it by the hour. And I, I, I'd probably still be sitting there making 15 bucks an hour sitting on my butt. Um, the economics of it flips over. But also for your, your first month or so in a zone, even if you live in that zone, I think DoorDash's zone system is horrible. There's nothing we can do about it. That's tragic. Um, unfortunately, it's DoorDash. Uh, I've used Rody, Uber Eats, I've used a bunch of other apps, and none of them use zones. I unfortunately live on the border with three zones, and the zone that I'm in is all zigzag and jagged, and virtually every order that I take anywhere near my house takes me out of my zone. So I end up having to drive back into my zone, and by the way, driving to another restaurant takes me out of my zone, and then back into the zone, and sometimes out and back in because the way that they've done it is crazy. And of course, a river runs right through all those zones and there's only a bridge every 10, 15 miles or so. Uh, so that's another problem for door dashers and DoorDash doesn't care. Uh, they don't listen to us. Every, every single video online says that. DoorDash doesn't care. Be they say that because DoorDash really doesn't care about the drivers. So that's why I recommend going to other apps. Um, other apps pay better and they're more responsive. Obviously, Roadie's a much better deal. I've got Roadie open right now, Roadie's. Um, but that's really better if you have like a, a larger vehicle. I have a small coupe. That's much better if you can handle the large packages. Most I can handle is medium in this one. The really large packages and then the extra large it sometimes require a trailer and huge. Um, I only see a couple of, of good ones on roadies. Why earn by the hour? Really quickly. You're not having to drive as fast. Uh, a lot of people forget about the wear and tear on their vehicle. Cost of ownership is F Dimpty. Fuel depreciation, insurance, maintenance, taxes, and interest. So almost all of those are worse if you're going by the order because you're having to beat on your car to get places quicker. All the videos I saw long before I became a door dasher, every single one said, you get in, the order's not there, just unassign and go to the next uh, place. And you have to do that, unfortunately. I really hate that that happens. Uh, but if you're earning by the hour, hey, you can sit on your butt making 15 to $19 an hour. Sitting on your butt in a store waiting for them to bring the order out. Um, you can take your time a little bit um, when you first get an order, um, two or three minutes. If you're at the gas station filling up the tank, it's all right. You're actually getting paid. 
Um, you're not going to paint very much. But to finish filling up the tank, just go ahead and fill up the tank. If you need to grab your at the store, grabbing a donut, grab your donut uh, and run. Don't waste a lot of time um, because you still make about the same amount on tips as you do at the hourly rate. When we've all done the math um, of your total uh, dashing time, about 60 to 70 percent of that time is actually driving delivery. Um, so I had 24 hours in a slow week a couple weeks ago, and I, it was 14 hours of active time. So it's the 14 hours, if it, because that was all at the 15 to 19 dollar an hour rate, that was more than half of my pay. And I, when I actually did the math, as long as I took 15 or more, or 14 dollars or more, I got more because you still get tips, and you occasionally once or twice a week get another tip uh, or tip increase afterwards for getting there early, keeping it all in the bag. Um, setting up really nice, taking a nice photo. Uh, people are, are really happy with that, especially you get your order right, all the little details, the extra napkins and whatnot. Um, I have gotten a lot of orders on the hourly rate where I get a $0 tip or a $1 tip. I had a 90 minute order where I was driven way out of the zone. It was half an hour to drive back into the zone. So it was two hours altogether and the tip from this 19 year old girl, whatever, in a, one of these million dollar houses that way out in the suburbs. Um, I know million dollar house isn't a lot of money anymore. That's like twice the average house in New England. Uh, losing the middle class in this country. Real uh, crime that the elected officials... By the way, I was a, a low budget candidate for Congress and I only pulled like 4% yesterday. So I'm a little bummed on that. I worked really hard on that campaign. Nobody could afford... None of my friends could afford to donate to my congressional campaign. So we're getting getting screwed um and honestly i would just be flat with you i know a whole bunch of republicans who are just as screwed up and uh, cheap and self-centered and warmongery as the democrats are so it's, it's not a one-party problem but take the hourly rate when you're new or if you're new to a zone then it makes sense there are other instances where it makes sense you want to reduce the wear and tear on your car if you have an old 500 dollar beater that gets 40 plus miles per gallon you know who cares go by the order and then just keep beating on it till it's time to to junk it no point fixing a 500 or a thousand dollar beater if you have a more expensive car a lot of people want to work a lot of hours i'm happier working 10 12 hours a day than doing six hours a day um, and i like to sit in a car that's nice and comfortable has comfortable leather seats um you know a lot of cars have dual zone climate control the they have the mountain fresh air super comfy you know lumbar support and everything nice sound systems and you could you could be in one of those luxury cars um all day test drove a lexus ct200 or something like that i could drive in that thing all day bmw 3 series obviously i have an m3 it's really really fun to drive so they're they're paying me to drive i don't mind at all i don't mind being on the road 14 hours a day in fact when i first started doing doordash i was doing 12 to 14 hours a day um but when I actually work out the fuel wear and tear on the car, like I say, F -dimp dimpty, fuel depreciation insurance, maintenance taxes and interest, it doesn't make sense to do the, for me to do the earn by the order. Because like I say, I pulled in multiple times and they say, oh, um, you know, I got the signal. It said that it's already ready. I pull in, go in to take the order and they're like, well, it'll be out in one or two minutes. I sit down 10 minutes later, it's still not there. I kind of look in the kitchen, try to get some kind of, you know, feedback, nothing. They're not even close. So I had unassigned the order. So I basically blew more than half an hour on that getting nothing. And that was supposed to be $15 for two pickups and one customer. Um, obviously, um, you'd normally avoid Taco Time, Taco Bell. But if you don't mind just making those, lot, you know, long leisurely drives, um, and especially if you have a car as Mazda Miata I used to have, it was awesome. I had a 3 Series before this. I had like a Nissan 300CX. Those are a little more high cost of ownership and you're, boy, you really can't afford to, to do high speeds and a lot of in-town driving on those. You wanna go on the, like the back roads and have a good time driving. So that's another example where you'd want to have earned by the hour. Um, now, Manchester, I've noticed that they're frequently doing $10 an hour, 10, 15 hour, and the roads are horrible and it's usually in city deliveries. So there the hourly rate didn't make sense because I was only I was only active about 50% of the time. And those roads are really, really rough. Again, not to be partisan, but whatever. 
Um, ever since Eisenhower Rhodes infrastructure, I used to work in road construction, has been a Republican constituency. Um, and I was in the legislature, believe it or not, when door dasher and sharing economy issues came up and the Democrats were 100% for shutting them down. Because, believe it or not, the transit unions and the taxi companies um, are a big, powerful Democrat constituency. And um, I know that a lot of Republicans are like, well, the Democrats are a bunch of socialists. Democrats are a bunch of communists. They want to destroy everything. The reality, and everybody in everybody in, in state politics knows, is that Democrats are crony capitalists. And and that's the, I I think most of my friends on the left are pretty. Uh, they're sophisticated enough to know that um, all the Democrats do is they still want to have big business and everything, but they they block competition. So that's that's the reality. If you're a DoorDasher, the Democrats are just or any kind of delivery person or independent contractor, the Democrats are really a dead end because they kind of take away your options. They take away that flexibility, plus the high taxes, uh, but mainly if you make your living on the road. If you notice, 5, 6, 7 o'clock um, at night, probably 80 to 90% of the people who make their living driving are Republican, um, even though we know about the asshole problems with the GOP. But anyway, enough about politics. Um, I'm just burned out because of yesterday. So anyway... Um, and another reason for earn by the hour is if you're traveling. So I plan on flying, um, pretty soon. Um, and I want to door dash while I'm there while I have some downtime. Obviously I'm going to be earning by the hour because I don't know the area that well. You only make more money. So think of it as like beginner mode. Remember the old video games, arcades, you have like a, uh, home consoles. You had like the easy mode and the hard mode. The hard mode is earned by the order. So if you know that area and you're an expert in that area, it does make sense, especially if they're, if the promos go that way. And for some reason, DoorDash will sometimes give you $1.50, $2, $2.50, occasionally $3 extra for a pickup. But that's usually late at night when the when it's, it's just really just fast food. All the, the really good stores close at like 10 o'clock at night. Um, so you're just getting like the cheap, like one or $2 tip orders but if you can get pizza um pizza places are open till like one in the morning uh two in the morning sometimes so you can keep working you know till one o'clock in the morning if you like if you like doing it that way um when which is great because there's no traffic um if you live in a college town or near a college um sometimes late at night is great because the college students are studying all night um especially around october november early december they got semi-finals finals and they just study 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 and they're still making orders at like four in the morning for a whole bunch of kids. Um, I shouldn't call them kids, they're like 20, 22 years old, whatever. I just graduated, I just got a, another degree. I got an associate's degree in computer technology. And this is what I'm doing because uh, there's no jobs out there. There's no, no real opportunity. They won't get back with you. I mean, I have probably about six years of total college altogether in, in, in STEM fields and, and these companies are just uh, terrible, which is ironic because the DoorDash app is so buggy and so problematic. Um, Roadie, uh, when they put their thing together, they were just like, well, we see how screwed up DoorDash is, so we'll just let you use Google Maps or Waze or whatever um, GPS. So don't don't even bother. Most people are already probably told you this. Just go with uh, another app for finding the place because DoorDash has probably sent me down the wrong road. Like, you know, you're, you're driving out in the middle of nowhere at one o'clock in the morning you end up it's like deliverance or something like that it's just like some weird you're out in the boonies and it's like i didn't know that new england had you know all this you know backwater hillbilly moonshine whatever um so anyway most of the time when you're new to an area do the earn by the hour if you're if it's if you're just doing it kind of casually do it it's a lot less stress earned by the hour if you can get 15 to 19 i should say 14 to 19 an hour is probably worth doing um, and then there's um, there's there's a bunch of other reasons um, that slip my mind right now um, if you're just out out and about doing errands and, and stuff you just want to have an, an easy laid-back time um, if you're eating at a restaurant or something like that and you don't want to rush your food um, earn by the hour you can click accept take your order to go whatever pay the bill and yeah it's two or three minutes that it, it delays your pickup but so what well, you're probably going to be waiting when you get to the restaurant anyway especially the earn by the hour stuff your tips are going to be on average about half as much but you get screwed so much on tips on the earn by the order anyway that it just it 
makes sense. If you like going, you know, back and forth places, you know, running around the city or something like that, or if you're on a bicycle, or if you're delivering by foot, or delivering by like Segway or whatever the hell, you know, in city stuff, that makes sense to just go earn by the order. But I think that earn by the hour makes more sense if you like driving, you like driving, you know, cover more distance, especially if you have a more like fuel economical vehicle. So that's my two cents. I'm going to say most of the time, especially when you're new, earn by the hour.